I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with the one and only Dara Foley. Dara, I think the last time I saw you was Tyler McKenna fight in Belfast all them years ago. How's it been? It's good, mate. It's been good. What's up? Yep. Same old, same old with me, mate. Uh, Travelling travel the UK, speaking to the guys like yourself, so I'm all good, yeah. But you've got a, a big fight ahead of you in Robbie Davis Jr. on Saturday night in his home city, in his home turf. Any nerves, anxiety? Nah, I was built with this shit, man. You know me, Andy. Um, and I prefer it more this way, you know. Mm. You just go in and uh, go in and upset the apple cart and be on me merry way home back to Australia with a belt, or maybe not. What's going on there? No well, that, well, that's what I was going to ask, man. I seen your, your your post where you said Eddie, get your finger out. Yeah. Uh, the note, I'm not coming halfway around the world for no belt. I mean, that was a couple of days ago. I think you you, you posted that. Uh, any news? I don't know, man. Uh, my manager standing behind me, so hopefully he has something. Listen, to be honest, it, it doesn't bother me, man. I've about 12 of them at home. They just sit in the cupboard. I don't pay no attention to them, but I was thinking more so. I fly out in Manchester the next day. I want to check in with a little black guy. I want to say, oh, what will I do with this to the check-in lady? Oh, what's in the bag? It's a championship belt I'm after winning. Mm. Get the little business upgrade. See, that's what I'm thinking. So if there's no belt, then maybe Eddie does the business upgrade anyway. Have you got a message for Eddie about uh, for no belt being on the line? You better do something, mate. You better do something. That's all I'm saying. Well, there you have it. Um, back to Robbie Davis Jr. Good, good opponent. Um, great fighter in his own right. It's going to be a great, tasty fight. I said to him when I spoke to him about 30 minutes ago, I said that I've been a couple of your fights and you, 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 I've been on the edge of the seat in quite a few of them because you, you get drawn into wars and da 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 da. And I've seen you fight a couple of times. You like to go at it as well. So what kind of fight are we expecting? A fan-friendly one? <laughs> Listen, man, it, it's going to be a good fight. You know, Robbie's kind of similar, similar age, similar record. He's probably fought a little bit of better, better opposition than me. But um, I'm ready, man. I'm ready to rock. You know, he said that he's going to break me. He ain't breaking me, man. I'm unbreakable. I hope you come and try and break me. You may get broken yourself if you're already not a little bit, you know. But um, let's see, you know, I'm looking forward to it, man. Come break me. What kind of what does a win against Robbie Davis Jr. do for your career in such a talented and stacked super lightweight division? Not just here in the UK, but at world level as well. It's a stacked division. It's a dangerous division to be in. So, what does a win for Robbie Davis Jr. do for you? I think it puts me right right up there. You know, Robbie's he's in a, he's ranked in a couple of the across the board. Um, you know, there's fights that I want have been wanting against these little upstarts, Steve Spark and Liam Paro. Where did they come from? How, I've been, I've been number one in Australia for however long, however since I was in this division. So how have all these guys bypassed me without coming through me? Ask yourself that. I'll tell you exactly why. Because in the case of Liam Paro, he's backed by multi-millionaires who can manoeuvre him, you know what I mean? Snakes and ladders, this way, that way, that way. Come through me. I've been here the whole time. You're number one, now. you're number... You ain't nothing, man. So... Um, when I get past Robbie on Saturday, it just opens the door to all these fights. Moving on to the other guy, that little shitbag, Steve Spark, who sold his spare rib to Tim Zill. 125,000, I think, you know, so... He's just, yeah, we'll speak on, uh, we'll speak after the fight. Well, that's what I'm saying, you've got a, a tough fight ahead of you. So, I know fighters don't look past the fight that they've got immediately ahead of them. So, what can we expect then? Obviously, Liverpool crowd always bring it. You're up against a scouser and Robbie Davis Jr. We know the tough Irishman that you are. Can we expect a tough war between the two of you? Yeah, 100%. I'm coming to win, Andy. I'm not here to muck about, you know what I mean? Everyone uh, everyone says this, earn with earn. I'm still waiting on that. You know, I ain't here for a paycheck, that's for sure. I get nearly the same fight in Australia. I'm here for the opportunity because I know when I win this, the whole world's going to open up for me. So I'm here, I'm committed, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm here to fight, man, business. 
I fly out Sunday. I've been back in Dublin a week preparing, getting acclimatised. Haven't seen no one staying in the country. So I don't focus, man, in and out. I'm on a hit here. You know, if 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 I think that I'm gonna get a decision in in uh, in Liverpool, then I may as well jump jump on that Emirates, fly back to Dubai another 14 hours to Sydney from there. You know, so I know what I gotta do, and I'm gonna do it. By that you mean stop Robbie Davis Jr. on Saturday night? Yes. Can you stop him? I mean, when you look at Robbie, I spoke to Robbie, he says he can stop you, and obviously you you hinted at the fact that you're not going to get a decision here in Liverpool. So is the game plan, I know fighters don't give the game plans away, is the game plan for you though is to go in there, hurt him, put him down a couple of times and maybe get that stoppage? Not maybe, get the stoppage. Exactly what you say, get the stoppage. Again, Andy, I know boxing. I ain't getting... Mate, this goes to the scorecards. Come on. I'm here to do a job, man. When you look at the super lightweight division here, I mean, Lewis Richardson and O'Hara Davis just fought last week. Good fight. Uh, O'Hara's now final eliminator. Will he get that opportunity? Who knows? Like you said, boxing's boxing. We never know if he's going to get the opportunity. But the super lightweight division with Dalton Smiths and Sam Maxwell's is, is tasty here in the UK. A win for you. Are these the sort of guys you're looking for? Whoever, man. Whoever. You know, I'm fighting... Um Primarily to see how far I can go, you know, which is the reason I took this fight against Robbie. Like, fuck if I'm good enough for beating, and secondly for money. So whatever, whatever, which way works best, I'll fight anyone. Man. I don't, I don't care. And um, as is proven, I'm taking this fight three weeks now. You know, I don't, I don't give a fuck. I'll fight any of them guys. Um, who's your name? Sam Maxwell, Dalton Smith, uh, O'Hara Davis, maybe even Lewis Ritson. I mean, it's a, it's a great division. Obviously, you've got Josh Taylor and Jack Carroll, who's yeah. up at that world level. Yeah. You probably can't really mention them because they're obviously doing their, their thing up there. But there is these guys at, the, at this sort of like domestic level, fringe world level, that the guys I've mentioned that are good fights for you. All of the above. Mm -hmm. Show me the monies. That's it. It's the prize fighting game. 100% mate. <laughs> I used to think it was called pride fighting, but nah, it's prize fighting mate. Well, there you go, hopefully you get paid handsomely on this one then. Uh, one final one for me then. Like I said to you, that arena's behind you. That uh, I don't know if you've ever fought in Liverpool before, but what can the fans expect in that arena and the fans watching on the zone come Saturday night? A super performance and me walking out there with the, well it's probably now belt at the minute, but with my hands aloft, I don't know if I'm going to be carrying a belt or not, but with my hands raised, that's what to expect. I'm going to go in and fight my heart out like I do every time. And Robbie Davies, if you're going to break me, try it. Try break me. Try step into my wheelhouse. Come on. That, as always, it's a pleasure to speak to you, big man. And uh, listen, enjoy the rest of the week, and I'll see you Saturday. God Cheers, mate. Thank you. I'm going to share something with you that might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ballgame. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.